I joined in 2016. What I can say is that the years at the Institute were the most productive years of my life as a researcher, at least so far. And I think it's really due to this mix of uh, visitor program, very intense visitor, visitor program, and at the same time, uh, a lot of time for yourself to do your own research. This was important for me, I think, to produce the best research possible, to be able to bring people to come work with me, but also have time to work on my own. It's true that this park uh, in which the Institute is, which is isolating us a little bit from the rest of the world, is something important to make your mind kind of go to places where you would not necessarily go in the middle of, you know, the intense life of the city and, uh, and the noise and so on. So it allows you to meditate a little bit, I think, and, and to put at least yourself in such a meditative uh, state. So I think this is very important for the members of the Institute and, uh, and for its productivity. We usually hear about quantum physics, which is the physics of the infinitely small. We, we hear also about like the physics of infinitely large things of the universe, right? I mean, general relativity. But there is a physics that we very rarely hear about, which is the physics of our scale. It's called statistical physics. It's a physics of complex systems. And what I do uh, for a living in, in my research, uh, in my everyday life, is actually dealing with these very complex systems. Except I don't do it from the physics side, I do it from the mathematical side. So I try to build up and study mathematical caricatures, if you want, of physical phenomena. And one which is very dear to me is the, the question of magnetism. So if you take a magnet and you hit it, after a certain temperature, when it reaches what we call Curie's temperature, it stops being a magnet. So a magnet can stop being a magnet. That's, that's something that people don't usually know because it happens at very high temperatures. So I try to study mathematically why this happens. Why a magnet should lose magnetization after a certain temperature, above a certain temperature. So that's the type of mathematics I'm doing. It involves a lot of things, in particular, what we call probability theory. In some sense, we use randomness to explain, to try to, to deal with this very complex system. Because, you know, you imagine a super complex system. How can you understand exactly how each component of the system behaves? Well, you use probability as a simplifying mechanism.